Hello everybody and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Um, so, I've done some grinding. Um, I believe on the last video I was level 11. So now I'm level 15. You haven't missed uh, too, too much. Uh, I learned Destruction Field. Uh, she learned Recover. Um, Rita learned Champagne. Rapide learned Punishing Fang. And Carol, I think, I don't remember what he learned, but, um, actually I think he learned Destroying Rock, yeah, he's only used it once, but, yeah, had to do some grinding, because after we get through the ruins, uh, the next place is, uh, you know, like, pretty difficult, so, um, I cleared all the enemies out, so we don't have to go through all these battles. So we're gonna go ahead and activate all these. Um, well, they're not Blastia cores. I don't, I don't know what you'd call them, but we got a skit. Nothing to worry about. Hmm. If that ceiling collapsed, we'd be buried alive. What are you saying stuff like that for, Estelle? What if that really happened? Come on, don't be such a wimp. These ruins are made of stronger stuff than that. Ah! Estelle! Now the ceiling's gonna collapse because you were talking about it! Huh? No, oh, sorry, I just stubbed my toe on a rock. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Yuri, you're mean. Come on! Let's hurry and finish up what we're doing so we can get out of these ruins. I love Yuri. He's such like a... He's a hero, but he's like, I don't know. Okay, so that's one part of this. Well, I guess that's one stair to the boss. Which, I believe the boss's name is called Goliath, but uh, in the video I'm just going to call him the Iron Golem. That just sounds better. Okay, so we got the stairs complete, uh, but we're not going there just yet. So yeah, I've done a lot of grinding, so I'm kind of like full up on orange gels and magic lenses. So that's that's pretty good. So now we're gonna go over here and hit this. So that activated all these guys. Uh, they're not. They're not too bad. I'm gonna make you work. Honestly, it would have helped me grind a lot more if I would have activated these guys. But I wanted to wait. Which actually. Okay. So. Oh yeah, I met one of these earlier. So right here, you can get a double. And that will really help you get some experience. Well, it really all depends on like the luck. Because sometimes uh, you'll get more. It'll be a hundred years. But yeah, that was that was 50 for experience. This guy has always been glitched out, even in the original game. <laughs> I don't know why he's just always like stuck in his position. It's pretty funny though. Okay, nice. So that unlocked that chest. So we're gonna go grab that. I believe it's a sword for uh, Yuri, actually. Which, speaking of weapons, I uh, learned all the skills for everybody and switched their weapons out. So. They all know all the weapon skills. Oh, it's for uh, Estelle. Okay. So, backstep. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad. So, before we hit this boss, well, I guess we're at full, pretty much full HP and uh, TP. So, we're gonna go ahead and just go forward. Hey! Jeez, what is this thing? So this is a Blastia too? 
But what I want is the Aquablastia, not this... this puppet. What are you doing? Don't just go poking at him like that! If I can just analyze him, I'll finally be able to complete my Anima formula. Huh? No, his Blastia core is missing! Rita, looks like one of your friends is here. Hey, who are you? M me I'm just a Blastia researcher from Ospio. That sounded convincing. And just who are all of you? This place is off limits, you know. I think you just gave yourself away. I don't know who you are, but you're definitely not from Ospio if you don't recognize me. Guess she's got no problems with modesty. Yeah, this job is just full of problems. If it's not the knights, it's a bunch of kids. I really don't think Yuri's a kid. Oh, I think, I believe Yuri Rita. is twenty something in this game. Let me see. Wait a minute. Oh, the plot thickens again. What? How did you? I was just trying to heal your wounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. But dang, Rita, <laughs> Rita really got smacked right there. Hey, you guys, stop playing around and help us! Uh, all right, all right. I'm going after that idiot. You all take care of this. No, Rita, you're like what do you our. You leave it to us. How are you gonna get through? Oh, that idiot! I guess we've got no choice but to play with this wind-up toy for now. Let's get this over with and go after that. Ch Rita definitely could have just ran down the stairs, but you know, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna hit it with a magic lens. So it's got no weaknesses and it's level 18. I grinded for about, I'd say about 30 minutes and I'm only level 15. So this he thing is, know how to go easy on people. This thing is really definitely higher though. This big? Please calm down. I don't think this thing's gonna listen. Blastia have hearts too. Alright, better on crazy things like this. Fine. We just gotta, <laughs> we just gotta break its defense. That's all we gotta do. <laughs> and we can just. It kind of sucks because every every time I hit it with the sword, it doesn't really do much. Can I? I think I'll put it on the ground though. Oh, it has over limit. Okay, that's kind of our problem. Did I block that? I hope I blocked that. Yeah, we're just gonna run away. So it's uh, over limit wears off. I really don't like this guy. My sword does nothing. Oh, it's almost dead. This is it. Yeah. I will not let them use Blastia for evil. Let's go chase him down. Let's proceed quietly. Uh, okay. Cool. They all leveled up. They were pretty close to level 15 because of the grinding, so. All that's left is to cut off its power supply. I'm sorry. Rita, hurry! All right, all right! Come on, let's go! But Flynn... There can't be many nights here if our shady friend in the cloak is just wandering around. So you think Flynn is... I don't think he's here anymore. Come on! If I just had a little more time, I could have figured out the Anima formula. Is that why we were fighting that thing? Of course. You suck! You were already here looking for the thief. I just had you guys help out a little. Let's go, let's go. So what exactly did Flynn do here? That I've always wondered what he did because, first of all, they didn't have the sorcerer, uh, sorcerer ring, right? So, did they just like... Um, 
I don't know, like... I'm not about to fight all these. Uh, this will be my first holy bottle of the game. But, um... Yeah, no, I always wondered, like, what did the knights do here exactly? Because... They couldn't have done much. Because the secret passage was... Uh, not moved at all, so... Did they just like come here and then be like, oh, well, there's nothing here. You know? Okay, Look, here we go. He I feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. Just start so every time it's yellow, that's a, uh, just like a boss. Well, not really a boss, but like a story. Off like that. Uh, a story battle. Make him stop! Uh, I've only been hired to do a job. I, I was told to get a good price for any blast of cores I could find. You stole cores from the Imperial Capital too, didn't you? The Capital? No way, not me. Then maybe it was one of your friends. Y yeah, it's that creep, the Decky. Where'd he run off to? He's probably picking up his money from the client right now. Client, huh? And who exactly might that be? All I know is he's somewhere in Torum Harbor. I, I don't know any more than that. He was a huge bruiser of a guy with a scar on his right cheek and one eye missing. So is this the guy collecting all the cores? And where did you steal that sorcerer's ring? Wh who says I stole it? The client gave it to me, said it would be useful for this job. Liar. That's not something the boss of some pickpockets could get his hands on. Uh, honest, you gotta believe me. This thing sounds pretty big. You think somebody important is behind it all? Heck yeah, somebody definitely important. I think you're on the right track, Captain Carroll. This doesn't sound like some ordinary band of thieves. Man, first the knights, then the monsters, now this. Knight? Then Flynn was here after all. Yeah, that's him. That damn knight. Exactly what did Flynn do, though? Shut up! Great, Rita. You knocked him out. Now what? I'll have the city guards come pick him up later. All right then, let's get back to Ospio. I'm just so curious, like, what did Flynn actually do? Because I, I feel like he did not do anything. Because he got the footprints, right? But this was, like, still blocked off, so... I don't know. I feel like Flynn came here. Because, yeah, here, here's the footprints, but, I mean, maybe he was being chased, but even then, like, he would have had to, I think I'm thinking too deep into it, he would have had to, uh, push the, uh, the secret entrance open, and then. So Flynn wasn't in there either. Ugh, I don't know. So, who is this knight exactly? Okay, so this is voice acting. He's Yuri's friend. Hmm, your friend? That must be a pain. I'm gonna skip this. Anyways, they just talk about Flynn for a little bit, but it's nothing really important. We get a passport from Rita, so we can go through here, basically. It's a good thing the core thief you're chasing turned out not to be Rita, right Yuri? <laughs> well, how do you figure that? I couldn't care less who the core thief was. I would have loved it if it were Rita. <laughs> I'd be done by now. I wouldn't let her hear you say that. Well, at least we got a lead for catching the real criminal. I can't complain about that. So... <clears throat> the reason that I did grinding in the Shikos Ruins, which is not really an ideal spot to grind, but for people who have played this game, they <laughs> you know the next area, you know the next boss, so it's very difficult. If you're that worried about Flynn, would you rather leave now? It's just, I've got to say a proper goodbye to Rita. Then take it easy. What are you going to do after this, Yuri? I guess I'll go pay a visit to the guy behind all this core stealing. It sounds like Dedeki ended up going to the same place too. In that case, we should make a beeline for Nor Harbor. Didn't he say Torum Harbor? Oh, right. You don't know. Don't know what? 
Nor and Torm are both ports of a city that extend across two different continents. On the Elikian side, where we are now, is the port of Kapua Nor. People call it Nor Harbor. Kapua Torum is the port on the other side, on the Tolbikian continent. It's usually just called Torum Harbor. So first we'll go to Nor Harbor. We'll have to pass by Emmied Hill on the way, but it's not that far west from here. Emmied Hill is a cursed place. I played this game so many times. And let me tell you, I hate that place. <laughs> I really do. I'll be going back to Halur. I still need to follow Flynn. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll head back to Halur too. Huh? Why? How can you just say that? The thief's gonna get away! There's no reason to panic. According to our friend in the ruins, it sounds like his client's base there. Besides, if we're going west, that'll take us close to Halur. Oh, man! But I... You gotta be somewhere? A sick girlfriend with an incurable disease or something? Man, if only she really was a frail girl like that. I know I asked you to wait for me, but you sure made yourselves at home, didn't you? Oh yeah, totally. You know, I'm just laying on uh, this wooden floor that uh, <laughs> definitely doesn't look that great. Oh, welcome back. What ended up happening to the thief? He's probably crying quietly to himself in his cell by now. Sorry for suspecting you. <laughs> what a heartfelt apology. I'll take it, though. It worked out pretty well for me, too. Rita? Well, thanks for the hospitality. What? Going so soon? We don't want to overstay our welcome. Plus, we're in a bit of a hurry. I'm so happy to have met you, Rita. I'm afraid we have to go now. I'll thank you properly later. Okay. Oh, Rita's like, not, not happy. So tell me about this frail girlfriend of yours, Carol. What? The reason you want to go to Nor Harbor is so you can see her, isn't it? H how do you know about her? I knew it. No, I mean, she's not even in Nor Harbor. Oh, it's not Nor Harbor? I, I don't know what you're talking about! You might as well come clean, Carol. It's obvious Estelle's not gonna give up. You've got it all wrong! Carol! Oh, young love. Oh, here we go. If you're seeing us off, we'll say goodbye here. I'm going with you. You're doing what? <laughs> I love Carol. He's like, you're doing what? I hate Carol. But I love Carol. It's it's a love and hate relationship. It's very weird, you know? Oh, so this is why you told us not to leave without saying goodbye, huh? Yeah. Is that it? Just yeah? Can you just leave like that? You're an important mage here, right? Hmm. I want to see Halur's barrier blast yet for myself. It's no good to the people if it's broken, right? Actually, the three of us fixed it together. Huh? What do you mean you fixed it? You're just amateurs. You know, we revived it. It was great! Let's just say Estelle... it was beginner's luck. Now I'm really worried. I'll have to go see if it's been done properly or not. Oh, Carol almost gave up the, the secret. What? I've never had a real friend my own age before. I'm not so sure we're... This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah. So Estelle is 18, and then Rita is, I believe she's actually 15, which is funny because she's level 15. So, traveling with this bunch? Let's check when this out. When we left out. the capital, it was just me repeating Estelle. Now Carol and Rita have joined us. I'm so happy to have more people to travel with. I'm not so sure about some people in our party, though. I'm not so sure about you, you little runt. Hey, now. Go easy on the young captain. Rita, we all have to work to get along, okay? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're gonna be beefing, like, the whole game. What am I at? 19 minutes? Okay. Yeah, we're about to end this video off pretty shortly. But, yeah. No, it's, it's pretty great. Um characters in this game they just really like nailed it oh man okay 
I guess we're doing this. This is awesome. It's very unfortunate. I did not want to fight. Look at that. Only 65. Like what? 65 experience? That's, that's really nothing. It's the bees and the rhinoceroses or whatever. Whatever they're called. What are they called? Oh, oh yeah. We got the monster book now. So. Uh, oh, I didn't hit. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's going to bother me the whole game. Apparently, I didn't hit Zagi in his first phase, because he has two phases. There's his initial phase, and then his second phase when you fight him at the start of the game. Oh, that's going to bother me so much. Wait, we didn't hit that? Really? Okay, hold on. Hold on. We got we to gotta find one of those birds. That's also going to bother me. They should be in this area. Yep, there it is. Cool. I feel like an easy win. Okay, yeah. Let's uh Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. We're gonna destroy them. <laughs> cool, yeah. Oh, Big game and a small package. Okay, let's see what this is. Isn't it hard to use a weapon that large, Carol? It's a little heavy, but I need to hold something large like this to make myself look bigger. That's oh, just the gosh. right trick to hide your minuscule size. Ah, you want to look bigger to fool the enemies. Now that you mention it, small monsters often puff themselves up to appear more menacing. Right, it's just like... Huh? Are you saying I'm the same as a monster? Even so, changing your appearance doesn't change who you really are, Carol. Are you dangerous? Tell us right now if you are. It's okay. I'm an elite hunting blade. There's nothing to worry about. I hope that's not another one of your clever tricks. Uh, okay, Carol. Whatever you say. Okay. Um. Yeah, so this video is at 22 minutes. We defeated a boss, you know, so that's that's already pretty pretty good. Uh, after we go to Halor, we will make our way to Emid Hill, unfortunately, and uh, I don't think we're ready for all that. So uh, might do a little grinding off screen. Or maybe when I get to Emmied Hill, I might do some grinding. But, um, yeah, no. Uh, the next part, well, we will be making our way to um, Emmied Hill. But it's going to be pretty rough with, uh, with the boss that we have to fight there. And if you've played Tales of Vesperia, you know what boss I'm talking about. So, but, um. Thanks for watching everybody, if you enjoyed the video hit it with a like, you know, all that good stuff, you already know what to do. Alright, peace.